thanks for tuning in today. Today's a little bit different of a video. We're not going to be doing anything on the cars today. We're actually going to be doing some maintenance on our John Deere 1026R tractor. Um, we're going to be doing some grease fittings um, and just some general maintenance. We haven't done it in a while. All right, guys. So you're going to want to start by putting on some gloves as it is a pretty messy job. Um, just use disposable ones, ones you don't really care about. Uh, you don't want to get anything like this on your clothes or your shoes, so make sure to wear an outfit that you really don't care about. Um, so the grease we're going to be using today is a premium heavy duty grease from Tractor Supply. Um, I'm sure you can get it anywhere where they sell tractor related items or anything among those sorts. So the John Deere recommended grease is the John Deere brand. But in addition to that, they also say you can use an NLGI number two grease. It's just a general purpose grease. I'll show you guys that there. Um, they sell just a regular one and then a premium one. I figured it'd be better just to use the premium one on this because for some reason it just sounds better. So we're going to start by putting, you're going to open this black lid open and then you're going to Put it in the grease gun like this. I'm gonna pull this all the way back as much as you can. You gonna push this in, and you'll see how far, how much more you need to push back. So once you have this all the way pulled back, you're going to crack the seal. It's kind of like a soda can opener. You just want to crack the seal and pull this aluminum piece back. Um, toss that. Toss that aside. You're not going to need that anymore. Screw it into your grease gun. Okay. Now it's it's to be said that you do not need a pneumatic grease gun for this job. You can use just any hand pump. Um, that will do just as well. But we have so many grease fittings on this tractor that we figured would be a good investment to just get something like this so this job would be a little quicker. So if you think that's appropriate for your application, get one. Um, yeah, this is the grease gun we're going to use today. Uh, it is pneumatic, so I do recommend wearing eyeglasses just because you're using pressure tools and you know, it's always better to be safe than sorry. So with that, on to the next step. When you are ready to start, um, you're going to have a paper towel with you to wipe off the grease fittings before you put grease in them. This just prevents any dirt from getting into the actual bearing and the moving pieces inside the joint. You do not want to put any foreign objects or anything other than grease into these fittings. So just wipe the tip off before you're ready to put the grease on. All right, so we just got done with the front loader. Uh, there were six fittings on each side, one on the, six on the left and six on the right. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go wipe them again. 
But now we're moving on to the backup. Okay guys, so we couldn't get to some of the points for the grease, so we had to extend the back hole out a little bit so we can get to them. Um, it was the one underneath here, and then there was one on the top in here that we couldn't quite get to, so that's what we're going to get to now. No, I didn't get that one yet. But we can get this one right here. This guy. It's good.
Okay guys, so we just got done with the backhoe. Um, as you can see, we had to open it a little bit to get into the little places that were hard to get to when it's curled up like this. So you're probably gonna have to do the same if you have this exact backhoe or something like it. Um, it's no big task, you just need to move it to get to the places you need to. And with that, we're gonna move on to the actual tractor part. So pretty much anywhere on the tractor that moves, you're gonna put some grease. So in the top of the, these U-joints, all of these U-joints on the drive shafts, there's a grease fitting in each of them. And then over here in the steering, there is one underneath on the left on the bottom of the steering knuckle right there. And then on the bottom here of the hydraulic, there's another one. So we're gonna put them both there. And that's about it. Thank you. Oh, good, it worked. Okay. All right, on to the next. To the next one. I mean, got under it. Just my last one. On the last one here. Isn't it nice having somebody else do this for you? Hey guys, don't forget to check out our Instagram. We post here more often than YouTube, so if you want to get an inside scoop before then, make sure to check us out. We post new things almost daily. So yeah, thanks for watching today, and make sure to check it out.